want to talk about C sharp, C sharp programming. And why do we need C sharp? And um, why should I need to be C sharp programming? There are other programs like uh, VB, Visual Basic, and CPP, which is C++, and F sharp. Um, you can really work more on C sharp. And uh, C sharp is a very great robot, object oriented programming. You can say yes, there are other also programming like that, other C sharp, which is also robust like C sharp. Yes, but in this video, we're going to be looking a lot about what is all about if you become a C sharp developer. We're going to take it slowly, let's move next, see what can C sharp do for you. Now, C sharp can do a lot. And uh, C Sharp has been a very interesting program, and uh, I really like to work on it much like I work on that program, and uh, I enjoy this. Let's move. Why C Sharp? Now let's see, and uh, let's take a look at what can we run with this C Sharp, and uh, the greatest thing, and um, what about C sharp is all about let's really take a look about it now let's proceed now okay we want to look at this process the 2010 and 2015 and let's look at the future now let's go and look at 2010 now let's go now this is 2010, let's click, it's going to load, let's look at the component and what we can build with C Sharp. As you can see, this is Visual Studio 2010, it's going to take a little bit of time, but let's just hold on, okay, I think it's better now, okay, now, it's slow, a little bit, a little bit, okay. Now let's go on new project. You can click on a new project and let's we're gonna take a little bit of time but we just have to be patient and wait a little. Okay, now, now let's click on this. We're talking about C sharp. Now this is what C sharp can do in Visual Studio 2010. Now we can build window application you can see here window form application and we can also build web application and two type of web application microsoft has we have web application asp we also have mvc2 web application in c sharp now we also have this you can also be a component of office you can build a cloud it doesn't have much as you can see, it doesn't have much, but okay, this is what we found here. But if we take a look at this, we can't find much thing, and there is no new features, there is nothing like new here. It, it seems not new to me, it seems not new to you, I think so, but <laughs> that is not. Now let's close, let's exit and now let's take a look at 2015. Wow, I love this one. You can see here 2015. This has a very dynamic wide range a lot. Let me just say that a lot. A lot to know about it and a lot to, to work with. Let's just hold on, let's take it easy. Um, this is the Enterprise Edition 2015. Uh, in Italy, it's called 2015. 2015. Now, um, this video I'm doing is from, I'm doing it from Italy, and um, it is a is a place to live. I really like it. And um, let's proceed. I cannot just translate all my language C sharp programming automatically to C sharp. 
to to oh, sorry to Italy. Uh, when I when I mean uh, the lingua the language, it's gonna take a little bit process, but I just have to keep on trying and trying. Not too much. Uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. As you can see here, this is my Visual Studio 2015 environment. And, um, whoa, 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 okay, it's still moving. As you can see, my cursor is still coming. Okay, I think I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, let's click on new project. Right click on new project. Any part of country you are watching this video from? I just want you to understand that the more you upgrade is more better for you and it is good for you to upgrade in your visual studio very necessary not an optional necessary necessary yes i'm telling you what is going on here i have to open it again okay I don't know what is going on. I think it's more better now. Okay, now let's look at the future of C sharp. I place my course on C sharp now. You can see. Look, look. Just take a look at your right hand middle corner. As you can see, you can see this is one, two, three, four, five. You can build on a device of one two three four five now it say a project for a single case now i want to take, take a look at this platform app that have no predefined control or layout that means this 2015 edition of microsoft visual studio is very robust with visual c sharp you can build on window application on a cross platform like targeting a much devices if you go to the web you can see this is more robust VSP web application that net framework and now uh, there is something i want to show you that this visual studio have i really love you can see here in an android application you can build an android targeting an android application um which is fun wash and web view in the web building an android web application we also have cloud working with the cloud component we also have cross platform which can also run on xamarin xamarin like is a is a application basically more robust on F sharp. I don't like that on F sharp, no, <laughs> not on, on C sharp much. And we also have iOS. Wow, this is great. You can build an iOS OS, which is known as what? An um, Apple application. Can build iPhone, iWatch, and a Macintosh. Now you can also build on TV like the TV OS. We are talking about just C sharp only. You can also build on these two. You can also build on WCL. You can also build on Workflow. I think that is all but when you expand an iOS you can see ample wash extension you can build an iPad you can build an iPhone you can also build on the boat if you universal if you feel like to build on universal now this is what C sharp can do I really like working more on C sharp sometimes but you can develop yourself you can really do more better if you want to do more better on it i really like it this is what I mean by upgrading and also you knowing what to do and um, 
why upgrading is it really necessary to upgrade but why is this video why do we are we working on this video one work more that you can know that moving from stage to stage is more better and it is necessary thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe in the next video we're going to be doing more on um, application how to deploy an application and a lot a lot and a lot thank you so much see you in the next video